find the greater fraction. We need to compare 1 half and 2 fifths. We can show 1 half by drawing a rectangle and dividing it into two equal parts, then colouring one part. We can show 2 fifths by drawing a rectangle of the same size, dividing it into five parts and colouring two parts. We can see that the rectangle showing one half has more colour than the rectangle showing two fifths. So one half is the greater fraction. Find the smaller fraction. We need to compare three quarters and five sevenths. We can show the fractions by drawing two equal rectangles and colouring the correct number of parts. We can see that the rectangle showing 5 sevenths is less coloured than the rectangle showing 3 quarters. So 5 sevenths is the smaller fraction. Find the smaller fraction. We need to compare 1 half and 5 twelfths. To compare fractions without drawing a diagram, their denominators need to be the same. 1 half has a denominator of 2. 5 twelfths has a denominator of 12. We need to find an equivalent fraction of 1 half where the denominator is 12. 2 multiplied by 6 equals 12. Let's make an equivalent fraction of 1 half by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 6. 1 times 6 is 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 6 twelfths is an equivalent fraction of 1 half. Now to compare the fractions, we look at the numerator. 5 is smaller than 6. So 5 twelfths is smaller than 6 twelfths. 5 twelfths is the smaller fraction.